Hello everybody, Little Simmer here, and I am finally back with a Sims 3 speed build. I've been pulling my hair out for months trying to figure out why my game lagged so much. Um, because I don't know if, I'm sure people, other people have this issue, um, <clears throat> but whenever I would pan my camera around, it would just freeze and like my computer would crash. And so I've been pulling my hair out for months trying to figure out what the problem was. And I just needed to make a new, I just needed to make a new Sims 3 folder and it fixed it. And now my game runs perfectly. <laughs> and I was really like, I felt really bad because, um, because I, when I first started my channel, I was like, I said I was just going to do Sims 3 stuff and everybody was like so excited because um, apparently there's not very many people that do Sims 3 stuff anymore because everybody does Sims 4. But then like I couldn't play the Sims 3 so I tried the Sims 4 and I loved it. Just the the way that I can, the you know, stuff that you know that we can do in the Sims 4 that you can't really do in the Sims 3 but I, I definitely now that I now that I can play The Sims 3 again, I remember why I um I loved it so much just because it's it's just the whole it feels very open world like there's so many lots you can pick from like in The Sims 4 it just looked it looked really cartoony for my taste but I learned to like it because of how the you know well you can customize everything. But I am in The Sims 3 again, and I am so excited, and <laughs> I am watching this, and I am remembering that I had a lot of problems with the upstairs, because I wanted that whole, like, downstairs to be open to, like, the, like, uh, uh, that, that open area that doesn't have any flooring. I wanted it to be open to the downstairs, um, because I, I was going off of the actual picture in an actual floor plan that I found on ePlans, either either ePlans.com or HousePlans.com, I can't remember which one, but I was having a lot of problems with the, um, uh, with the upstairs, and I think I figured it out, yeah, I figured it out. <laughs> I remember I was, like, pulling my hair out, I was like, girl, why isn't it working? Like, it doesn't look right. Um, but yeah, I just, I remembered how like how much fun it was to build in The Sims 3 and how much I like everything. I will need to get used to like how I, cause I don't know if anybody else like has this, if you've played The Sims 4, but doesn't everything in The Sims 3 feel bigger than in The Sims 4? Or maybe I'm just tripping. <laughs> maybe I'm just tripping. But this house is called, let me tell you about this house. It is a three bedroom, two bathroom home. The three bedrooms are upstairs, and I did not furnish the upstairs at all. I have been in my Sims 4 speed builds. I furnish everything, and my videos are like 45 minutes long, and I don't like that. And so I figured, you know, I'll let you guys furnish the upstairs like I used to. Um, and this house is called Deja Blue. I didn't come up with that myself. I cannot take the credit for that. I looked up you know, blue house names on Google, and it was like, oh, here's one, and I'm like, oh, perfect. <laughs> I guess thought it sounded, I guess thought it sounded catchy. <laughs> um, and I think furnished this house is, I wrote, I wrote it down, furnished this house costs 71,659 simoleons, and then unfurnished it's 45,135. And I built it in Sunset Valley because the lighting in Sunset Valley is amazing. Um, but yeah, how's everybody doing? I haven't done a voiceover in a year, probably. <laughs> um, I've been putting music over my videos, and although it does sound, although it does sound um, pretty and stuff, I I bought a new microphone last year because I was having a lot of, before I bought my microphone, when I did my voiceovers, I would use the the microphone on my headset and it would pick up like 
all the like humming in the background and it didn't sound very professional and I want to be a professional on my channel so I bought it was only like $30 too and this mic is like amazing I love it so much and I haven't used it in, a, in like a year because I've just been putting music over my um I've just been putting music over my <laughs> over my speed builds and I missed I missed being able to use it and I don't think I'm gonna be doing the whole music over my videos anymore um because I missed you know talking and stuff and just my I don't think anybody really liked my sim my sims 4 stuff because I didn't really get that I, all my views are in the sims 3 because you know that's where I you know started and that's I'd said I was just gonna do sims 4 or sims 3 stuff and so I'm going back to the sims 3 Three. Maybe I'll do a Sims for Speedbuild every once in a while, but it's mostly going to be Sims 3 stuff. And I was thinking a couple hours ago of doing the single mom challenge in the Sims 3, and I'm so excited to do it. Um, what has been, what's new with you guys? Um, me and, I don't know if I've seen you. I don't know if I've actually like talked or said what's been going on in my life. So back in uh, I want to say September of this past year, me and my boyfriend had to move into his mom's house because we were dumb with our apartment and we ran the lease right out. And so we had to, we were looking for an apartment and we finally got one in November. And uh and so that's what's been going on. We've been, you know, moving and getting, you know, situated and getting used to the new house. And um, we moved in with um, my boyfriend's cousin. And so it's been pretty, it's been pretty cool. I do DoorDash full time now. So that's what's been going on with me. I probably should be a little bit quieter because everybody else is still asleep. Because I wake up super early for some reason. Um, but yeah, that's what's been going on with me. Um, moved, finally got, you know, our, a new place and finally got situated. Finally got into the swing of doing DoorDash and stuff. Let's talk about this house. <laughs> I feel like I've talked about me enough. Um, but I just wanted to um, update everybody on everything. The pavement in The Sims 4, I will say, I missed The Sims 3, like, terrain paints, because there's, there's such a bigger, like, variety than The Sims 4, and, like, so I've really missed it a lot. Um, I just feel like you can, so decorating-wise, you can customize it pretty much the same amount, but... In The Sims 4, you know how in The Sims 3, if you want to like freely place something on like a counter without like it snapping into place, making it making everything look pretty and stuff, you have to like download this thing called OMSP, and it just it's so hard to like get the hang of. But I found another thing. Um, I can't remember what it's called, um, but it's basically the same thing. But it's a lot easier to to handle because um, it's already like so. In, in, with OMSP, you have to like click on it and like raise it up. However, and yeah, it's really annoying. But with this other thing that I can't remember the name that I can't remember the name of um, <clears throat> this other thing that I can't remember the name of um, it's already the the height of the counter. And so it's it's easier so you because you don't have to like adjust it you just put the thing on the shelf thing and then it just yeah <laughs> um uh what else do i talk about this house is so pretty like it in the picture it the siding is more more blue i feel like um but I made this house in like, it took me, I, I put it into two parts. I built it last night and then I decorated it this morning. And 
when we go inside, you'll see that I already, like, I already put the flooring down and the wallpaper. Because I feel like that takes me forever. And that's what I did in my Sims 4 videos. I, like, did the floor plan and stuff before I started recording. Just to, you know, save on time. And there is a backyard, but um, I think I just put a couple of benches in there and call it a day. Um, I find it like, like in The Sims 4, in my Sims 4 videos, I like definitely decorated a lot more, but I feel like it took a lot more time. And like when you download houses, like, you want to put your own stuff because not everybody's families are the same. So the backyard is your guys' to get to decorate. You could get the hold inside and decorate it however you wanted, but um, I don't know where I'm going to be downloading or where I'm going to be uploading this at yet. I might go back to doing it on Mega because I don't really... Every time I up try to uploading a house on The Sims resource, it takes weeks. And I'm not trying to wait that long. <laughs> um, so if everything goes smooth, all of this house will be uploaded already, ready, you know, for download on Mega. That's where I did, that's where I did all my Sims 3 um, stuff. Are we ever going to go inside is my question. Um, I think we put the I think yeah we're doing the backyard now and then I think we go inside like I think I put a tree in the back and a couple of benches and I think we go inside <sighs> do, 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 do. I also I've been on Pinterest a lot looking for like decoration and spray oh my god <laughs> I really hope my microphone isn't picking that up because I have my patio door open <laughs> and I hear sirens outside our apartment complex is right across the street from the fire department in our town <laughs> so if you can hear that i'm sorry it should be getting better <laughs> and uh, i missed being able to color i missed the color wheel in the sims 3 so much i feel like at least 70 percent of the speed build is going to be me like recoloring things if i'm not a liar <laughs> but i missed it and i missed it so much like, that's my only, like, gripe with The Sims 4, is that you can't- there's no color wheel. And that's so stupid. Like, why would- why wouldn't you put it, like- Like, we're supposed to be upgrading here. <laughs> like, why is there- but that seems to be the thing with The Sims 4, like, the- I- I- and I didn't realize how much I missed the whole, like, open world concept, because, like, it just seems like there's so much more, like, lots, and you can actually, like, go visit, like, other Sims, and I didn't really play The Sims 4 too much, I just built, so I'm not sure if... I'm not really sure if you can visit, like, other things, but, like... And another thing I missed was, um, you know how when you start a game and you start in summer and there's like the the summer festival and then there's the spirit festival and then there's the holiday festival, like, I don't know if there's that in The Sims 4, but I feel like I would like it. I feel like I like it in The Sims 3 a lot more. But yeah, we're going inside now. <laughs> um, so what I did and like decorating and stuff in the living room anyway um i like i planned out everything first off camera and then i took a picture of how it looked and then i went back and that's why you see like that okay so you see the the two pillar looking things with the glasses on them that's the thing i was telling you about i can't remember what they're called but um but yeah the thing that you can just freely place it see look see look how pretty that is the only thing is that if, and with OMSP, when you, um, when you place it, when you go like live, the it, the shelf actually the shelf thing disappears, but the thing that was on it does not. With this, it doesn't disappear, so you have to like make sure you hide it pretty well. 
<sighs> but yeah, I guess I missed The Sims 3 so much. I was laying in bed two days ago and I was just like sad because I couldn't, because I really missed playing in The Sims 3. And I had been watching, for the past week or so, I've been watching Zen Simmer play. And I've been re-watching all of her speed builds. And I was like, man, I really miss playing. I really miss building in The Sims 3. So I got up at like 2 or 3 in the morning. And I was like, I am not going to stop until... I'm not going to sleep again until I fix this. And I was up for maybe an hour or two. And somebody was like, yeah, just rename your Sims 3 folder and it'll make a fresh one. And then wouldn't you know it. <laughs> it was that easy. And... I just remember I I deleted all of my custom content because I thought that was the problem and it wasn't. So I've been re-downloading custom content and I found a it's a I think it's called it's like a dash I think it's called dashboard something but it basically it checks your packages folder for your where your custom content is and it makes sure that it's clean and that there's no conflicts and stuff. So that's what I've been Every time I download something, I check it to make sure everything's clean. So if you download this house, all of the custom content in it will not give you any problems at all. Everything's clean. Um, and and everything should be playable. Um, your, shim, your sims should be able to get to things. Because I didn't clutter it up too bad like I do in my sims 4 speed builds. Um, but yeah, um, what are we coming up on? Oh, it's about, hmm, got about six minutes left. What can I talk about? The, um, I don't really know what to talk about. I feel like I've talked about a lot of things in this build, but I haven't talked to you guys in a while. So, so yeah, if you, let me know if you guys would, would, would like to see, um, the single mom challenge on my channel because I tried a let's play before but I didn't I didn't really feel like anybody really enjoyed it so I stopped two parts in um but yeah I have something that's really irritating but something that did irritate me when I couldn't play the sims is because right before I started the you know not be able to play it I bought all of the expansion packs for it I think I spent like two hundred dollars on expansion packs and then like, yeah, I guess I, then I couldn't play it. I'm like, are you, you're joking me right now, right? Like <laughs> you're kidding. And I bought, I didn't buy all of the expansion packs in The Sims 4. I bought like four or five, I think. And I bought a, a couple of like stuff packs. I am gonna miss the, the customization for the kitchens though. That's one thing I am gonna miss a lot. Um, what else? I don't know what's really going on. What's really going on in the world? I, I don't really know what else to talk about. We still have two more rooms after this. There's like, um, off of the kitchen to the right, there's like a little, um, there's like a little nook, like a breakfast area nook. And then there's the dining room, like, below the kitchen. Um, but yeah, um, I've also been thinking about doing a, a Build With Me series, but I'm still really weird about doing voiceovers when people are home. Um, like, they would never, like, make fun of me or anything, but sadly I did live with somebody before I moved here because I started doing like Sims 3 stuff when I still lived in Ohio um, and the people that I lived with they weren't very supportive they like whenever they heard me do a voiceover they would like make fun of me and stuff so the people I live with now would never like my boyfriend would never and his cousin would never and everybody here is really supportive and I've never really had that the only, really, the only person that I really had that from is my mom. And 
I haven't lived with her since I was like 23 <laughs> and I'm 30 now. Um, but yeah, I really, but I really did miss building in The Sims 3 and I'm excited to do more stuff. I really want to do the single mom challenge. So let me know if you guys would like to see that. Also, these curtains were so pretty and they fit over my windows so well. <laughs> um, I guess forgot how much I met, I guess forgot how much I loved the ambitions like starter the and the ambitions like stuff the windows and everything also I'm just realizing that the bathroom downstairs is huge so there's a bathroom downstairs and then there's a bathroom upstairs as well um I didn't make it like an ensuite to a room or anything I just you know made it free room for everybody um but you can do whatever you want with the upstairs or the downstairs or whatever. Um, but I'm also in the Sims 4, it's really like whenever you, you know how in my, in my speed builds, I make like little, I put a bunch of like plants in one little area to make like a little cluster of them. I really missed doing that because it didn't really, I don't feel like it would look right in the Sims 4. Because all, because you know, their stuff is so like cartoony, like cartoon looking. If you know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, like I've been downloading custom content like there's no tomorrow. Like, and I used to download houses to get custom content, but I feel like that's where I got like broken CC that clogged up my game. And I didn't check any of my custom content before, and I do now. And it's making my game run so much better. Like, also, I, I miss playing in Appaloosa Plains, so <laughs> when I do do the, <laughs> do do, <laughs> when I do do the, uh, when I do do the, the single mom challenge, I'm uh, probably going to do it in Appaloosa Plains, but I have talked my way through this entire video, and I think I'm going to leave you guys here. There will be screenshots at the end. And so I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.